hello guys welcome back to the tutorial in last tutorial we learned how to install the backtrack in your VMware or, or virtual box so today we're gonna learn about navigation in the Linux so basically in the Linux you don't have the graphical interface but in black track you have but it's better you learn the command line interface because even though you use graphical interface for the advanced programs you have to use the command in line interface so it's better you know how to navigate in the command line it's not that hard it's got some basic commands as long as you know the commands you are fine so first thing this is the command line you can see this is a blinking cursor and you can type anything but you need to make sense to the computer because computer understand what you type here so first of all we learn ls command ls means list so if you are in the folder imagine if you are in the win in windows when you click to the folder you can see the contents inside the folder so same in linux if you want to see the contents inside the folder you just simply type ls see you can see there's a one folder called desktop if you press ls space dash l it will show all the permissions and who are the users and everything we're gonna we're gonna talk about this permission and things later on just today today we're gonna learn only about the navigation and the simple task so ls is for list the items in the folder inside the folder so we're gonna use the second command is cd cd is basically if you want to navigate to another folder you simply type cd that means if you are in the one folder and you want to go back you back or front any folder you have to press uh, type cd and folder name so in this case let me try ls so you can see one folder here desktop so if you go want to be go inside the desktop you type cd space desktop so and remember linux is case sensitive so you have to always always keep attention in your typing because you, have, you can't miss the uppercase and lowercase it need to be exactly same otherwise it is it will tell you don't have that kind of port so this is cd desktop so now we are in the desktop so you can see the desktop now the thing change uh, root to desktop so now you are in the desktop and you can type cal to see the date and if you want to go back to the directly like in windows in explorer you go back back key to go back to the folder so in here what you're gonna do you press cd space dot dot so you're going back again so it's just simple you type ls to list the items if you want if you want to go to folder you press you type cd change directory desktop or folder name and if you want to go backward you press cd double dot and if you want to see the time cal and the next one i'm gonna go through this very quickly hope you will figure it out this is not that hard we, we have to talk about a lot of things in the future tutorials so we need to save time for learn the linux so the next command is if config if config so when you press it you can see your ethernet card and the, all the settings you can see your ip address broadcast address subnet pass ip ip ip6 address and everything so it will show how many ethernet cards you have basically in linux it use real numbers so the first number is means real number is zero so if you have one card it will show ethernet zero h zero if you have two cards it shows h zero and h one 
so remember if it means zero that means you have one if it means one that means you have two that's only one in linux <coughs> and this is the if config is the wired settings so if you want to see i wireless settings you have to type iw config yeah so you can see it shows there's no wireless extension <coughs> but actually my computer use wireless card but the thing is in the virtual box the virtual network card only share its internet connection from my wireless card so you don't actually it won't actually show you are using wireless card because in the virtual machine it understand you get internet connections from the wired connection that's why it shows you don't have any wireless card so you have a lot of option to add a wireless card because you can simply plug in USB wireless card so we are going to talk about this later in the future tutorials because we need wireless card uh, to do some more hacking things like run air crack of this kind of software so we need wireless card for that so don't worry we're gonna go through about that in few times so and the next one you need to check your internet is working so let me clear the screen so if you type clear it will clear your screen so you go back to the top so to check your internet is working or your network is working you just type ping space whatever website name www dot google dot com ok it shows it start pinging so what it does it just send the request to the google server like say hello how are you and what he said he send you reply back like okay I'm fine that's what it said so it, it will show how many packets transmit how many is received how many lost and how many how, how long it does it take so in this case you transmitted seven packets and only six received for so one is lost so this is might be because of the uh, uh, network problem because sometimes your packets are destroyed inside the network but in this case you can see the server at least six packets reach to the server so that means your computer is connected to the internet so it does do the communication with outside world when you start to ping it's yeah. keep pinging without stopping so if you want to quit from the pinging just simply press ctrl c so when you press ctrl c it's ex escape from the pinging so it's not like in the windows in the dos if you start to ping it's do only maximum four times and then it's coming back to the prompt but in the linux it doesn't stop it's keep pinging 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 until you press ctrl c so the next one i will try to tell you is how to install the software and to your anything into your system this is the command it's apt get install whatever the package you want so I just for your preference I just type Linux that's the web browser in the Linux so uh, you can see it's already in my system that's why it doesn't show that it's installed so anyway we're gonna go to the next command if, if it's not in your system use any any operate any any software when you type it in apt get install command under the apt get install command it's not in your system it will start to install automatically so you don't need to get you don't need to do so much setting up things in like in windows for and the next one if you want to change your root password in the black track backtrack it's default the root password is tour t-o-o-r so if you want to change it just simply press p-a-s-s-w-d so it will ask enter new 
password so just type whatever you want my case and type yeah see don't worry it won't show you. when you're typing the password it won't show you typing that's how the Linux works. it doesn't show you the password so don't get panic just type it and the next command you're gonna see top top means simple like task managing the windows it will show all the comma all the process running in your system and if you want to kill any process you just type k and process id call pid the first column the first column is pid you whichever process you want to terminate you just select the process and type the pid in the prompt so i gonna kill the top and you can see you can type 1172 to center and yeah so you go back to the normal prompt so th the next one is the man page so man means the manual so if you want to learn about more about the commands or anything you just type man okay ping Imagine if you want to learn about ping commands, so you just type man ping. See, it will take you to the text file, and you can read through. There's a lot of information about the command. You can see that command, like so many options. Like there's, you can read like lot of lot of lines. So you go 216 lines all together. You can read everything, history, what the command does, what each option does, and everything. So we don't need. We're gonna go and explain about the other commands later. But it's good if you, if you have time, you can go through a few commands and check what actually this command does, and it's easy. So just simply press Q to go back to the console. So and next one how to start or stop the service in your computer like uh, service means like in windows world okay if you want to run windows media player what you does you go double click it and it will open if you want to close you go and click the close tab it's closed so how you do it in linux basically in linux what you does you type etc int d and just whatever service you want to restart uh, for if, if I type networking you type t art see so you can see my network is starting by it's this case it's already running so that's why so what we do we, we try to stop the stop it so stop yeah see you can see it stop so if you want to start back again press start Yeah, so it's working now. We gonna I'm gonna teach you the more commands in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching and please send me any question if you have just add it as a comment. I will reply, I will get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching the video.